Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The hottest news today is, oh, of course, okay, remember President Obama yesterday gave back 5% of his salary? Okay, now, that 5% of his salary, I just love it because we saw the tax returns from the previous year, and they had made a lot more money, and somehow, miraculously, they didn't make, or actually, he didn't make, um, nearly as much money last year. Hmm, well, the President does make certain much. But anyway, his 5% went over like, can we say a lead balloon? Because the same day he says he's giving back 5% of his salary, of course he's writing a check back to the federal government, is they increased the White House budget 15%, which accounts to a lot more than $20,000 or two is giving back. And, oh yes, the federal government spent $2.5 million oh, for a fundraising trip for him. But of course, he paid coach for his ticket. Yeah, and with Air Force One costs about hundred and twenty thousand dollars so that hour, the, so they wouldn't have to stop. Yeah. Somebody wouldn't have to tell them you're spending money yeah. foolishly. Yeah. And he said it, it it was it was one of the biggest blunders in the history of mankind. He said the only way he could have made a bigger blunder was basically to fly off to Kuwait or something to play golf with Tiger Woods. That would have been the only way he could have done it. I mean, they're all laughing. I mean, even the people on the left, really on the left, saying that you know. These people over here are getting their asses kicked, and the president spends two and a half million dollars on a fundraiser, mm -hmm. and it didn't make two and a half million dollars. And your taxpayer dollars. Over. That's right. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said this morning, okay, Republicans don't get it that they've lost the battle on abortion, they've lost the battle on civil rights, they've lost the battle on everything, and by you know by saying the president of the United States who blundered saying that he supports the de killing of uh, infants, infanticide, which is killing, okay, they, they did a thing, a senator got Planned Parenthood, they backed him into a corner, said, well, yeah, we know it's a slow percentage of the time, but in a late-term abortion, often the child is born alive. Mm -hmm. He said, what happens if that child is born alive and is laying on top of a table, uh, screaming his head off, and the, and the person, well, we would have to talk to the mother and the doctor to decide what they wanted to do, and then, um, then everybody in the universe, including the, the head, the Leahy's, the head, you know, the head of the Senate Judiciary, said that the President of the United States should have responded different because that is killing the killing a child, mm -hmm. and uh, and that, that well, this morning. Planned Parenthood has now issued, well, the person misspoke and she was misinterpreted. What she meant, that the patient therefore becomes the child on the table, not the mother, and the doctor must do that. But they've already, they already uh, basically went over the line saying that the child, you know, if the, when the abortion is started, you kill the child no matter what. Mm. Isn't that a good one? They said it, it was a loser for the Democrats. That was a total, I mean, that was all of it. And the Democrats are trying to defend, well, the, well, you know, this woman that did it, she was a bad, well, she's the head of the organization, folks. <laughs> the head basically thinks that it's perfectly all right to, first of all, they're not supposed to be doing abortions that late except for the health care of the woman. And if the baby is born alive, you do not kill the baby, folks. Mm. You're stuck. But they don't get stuck if they're if they're a Democrat. They just kill the baby. And Obama launches a fundraising blitz to help Democrats in Congress. Oh yeah, like I said, he spent two and a half, three million dollars to do the fundraiser. They brought in over they brought in a little over two million, and it's all to elect Democrats to Congress. We're going to take the Congress back from the Republicans, and then the president will get his agenda through. Well, like they said, everybody knows how well. The first two years of his presidency went when he basically crammed everything down the throats of the country and they're off. They said, everybody also knows how well health care is being received even by the Democrats as they're trying to undo it piece by piece as they're finding out, well, if the government gives you assistance, you have to pay taxes on that assistance. Mm -hmm. Which means if you weren't paying for health care before, you're going to be paying for health care now. Isn't that amazing how that works? Mm -hmm. And 8 million people, 8 to 10 million people are now going to lose their health care policies under Obamacare because the policies are not up to his standards. So remember when he said you can keep your doctor? Well, that went bye-bye. When you keep the policy, that's now gone bye-bye. That, uh, that nobody was going to lose their jobs. Yes, they're losing their jobs right and left and they're not hiring people. Everything, every nightmare scenario that was said about Obamacare is now happening piece by piece. And New York politicians arrested an alleged mayoral race bribe. Well, that's New York politics. I mean, that's normal. So <laughs> that's basically, it's like the only place as bad as Chicago is New York City.
Mm, an Alabama Senate passes bill tightening rules for abortion clinics. That was after the the not okay. They had a chance of not passing it. It was a 50-50 thing, and then when they said that uh, they would ta have to talk to the mother and the doctor about what to do with the baby that's alive, mm -hmm. that was what pushed Alabama over the edge. So, I mean, it's just like um, this morning on gun control. So Connecticut is the headquarters of many gun manufacturing companies that are now pulling out of Connecticut and they're trying, well, no, you can't, we're not stopping you from manufacturing. Yes, they are because they manufacture the 100 band guns and <laughs> there's no more movies going to be filmed in Connecticut to I, deal I with know. that. Because or New York, what, they forgot and about New York toy and, guns. And in Colorado. Uh, it all brings an end to everything that it's doing. There's no more, there's no sci-fi things because they, and they use ray guns. I mean, it basically brings a halt. I mean, only democratic states don't think through things before they pass them. Mm. And Hillary Clinton shares stage with Joe Biden, one of the first public events since leaving state. Well, you know, she's running for president. She'll be 70, uh, uh, 70 years old if she gets the presidency. First of all, you don't get three presidents from any party in a row, no matter what. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the only way the Republicans can lose the next election is simply to pay no attention to the belt, belt base of their party, which is they've done two times in a row. They should have won it this time, hands it down. It was given to them. Nobody mm -hmm. wanted Obama. They really don't want Obama now. Other than the, the they said, under the, other than the people that worship the ground he walks on, the whole party. They've got, they're holding Benghazi over Obama's head. They know Obama has to be bright enough to know that when they want him gone, they're going to bring Benghazi up and they're going to lay it at his feet. Well, and they're going to throw him out of con. They're going to throw him out for, because he is technically responsible for the, uh, not um, a manslaughter, he's technically charged, can be charged with first degree murder because he pulled the support out and then ordered that they be given no support. An Alabama Senate bill passes bill tightening rules for abortion clinics. I actually like that one. Oh, well, okay. NRA Back School Safety Review recommends arming educators. Oh, yeah. Well, they're basically, um, they're, they're basically, everybody's laughing at them. They said the NRA only, they're the only group, government anyway, that has a plan for the violence in schools, and they're laughing at them. Well, they're going to have people walking around. They've got people walking around in those schools with no licenses with guns, folks. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, uh, I, I, uh, okay, this is the morning too, I watched this this morning. The, they said that um, they were talking about the things that, the, well, they beat a person to death with a beer bottle in, a, in, a, in New York State, so now they're going to ban beer bottles. They said somebody set fire to this guy's house, and now they're going to ban matches. Oh, somebody, oh, somebody picked mm -hmm. up a, a twig and beat a person to death with a stick. They got so a bag of sticks. they cut all the trees down? Yeah. <laughs> that, it, said, it said it's getting to be ridiculous. And could your smartphone lower your electricity bill? Oh, that's that garbage where you can, from, a, from you, 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 we actually, we attended a thing at CES when this was developed. They've been talking about doing that for a long time. Yeah, when Time Warner does it, but nobody is going to use their cell phone to turn their security program on, to, to lower the temperature, raise the temperature. Okay, the one we liked most of all was at one of the auto events where everybody, guy is sitting there proudly telling, well, well, you're still in the air. You know, 20 minutes before you land and you're in a cold climate, you can turn your car on to warm it up. So it will be warm for you when you get there. And they said, yeah, your car will not be there when you get back. <laughs> so I love that. So they, they don't think. I mean, the reason why you don't turn things on in your house from being on a distance away, because sometimes things go wrong and you burn your house down. Oh, yeah. like the <laughs> Yeah. That's why it's always better to do it in person. Yeah. And U.S. North Korea is not backing up threats with military moves. Yeah, they moved missiles into place to fire at our west coast this morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought that when, well, as Chuck Hagel said, there it will be six months before they can get their reactor done, and it will be years before they'll be able to turn anything out. And we we don't expect that they'll be able to move the military up within. You know, it would take two or three months to move. The, they move the military in place last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not taking, uh, here's one of the people I've listened to, psychiatrist, child psychiatrist, he said, when you don't take a child seriously, that's when you're in trouble and the people, and Obama and his people are not taking a, what's basically an immature child serious. Well, I mean, you know firsthand, a child with a machine gun. Oh yeah. Still I, has a machine I, I, gun I, I, in I, their hands. I have bullets from here to here and you know, big damage there. 
you can, I got a plate there. You can see, you can't see it now with the bullets over there because I didn't expect a little tiny kid to shoot me, and he did. Mm -hmm. So how serious should we take that threat? I take it. I take a kid serious. Plus the fact, it all. He's got something to prove. All, all, okay. All Korean rulers since the first day that Korea had a ruler have to prove themselves in battle. Mm -hmm. That's the only way they stay rulers, and they yeah. have he has to do a, he has to fight, and it doesn't matter if you win or lose. He has to fight. He has to fight to show that he has the he has the guts to do it. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, is a simple one. You can either do things the simple way or do it the hard way. It's your choice which direction you're going to go. <laughs>